faith. What is a Pisces without faith? I'm talking about deep faith. Not necessarily to a specific religion, but that can be one way of expressing it. But to a sense of the greater unconscious at large. Pisces is the sign most faithful to such things. And when you meet a Pisces that has no faith anymore in larger concepts like that, they tend to not have faith in themselves. And that's when you get the stereotype of indulgent and in the vices of Neptune. Be it illusions, fantasies, drugs, whatever your particular escapism is. So faith coming in strongly is the mantra for the month. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, bear with me guys, um, yeah, I'm coming down with like a cold or allergies or something, but, um, I needed to re-record these videos, I, I did some before the month started, but they weren't right, and now is the right time to do them, so I'm sorry they're a little late, and I'm sorry I'm a little sniffly, um, hopefully I won't, you know, snot all over this audio, <laughs> um, yeah. How are we, how are you coming into October? Pisces. Is faith being challenged? Is it being deepened? <laughs> Is faith being challenged? <laughs> Five of swords. And six of pentacles. Hmm. <laughs> Do you feel like you've lost faith because of something that you have experienced that has left you in a state of need? A state of need that is so great and overbearing that you can't see who you really are and what you really need? And you're definitely too afraid to ask. Ask for help. Why? Why are you too afraid to ask for help? Because you're afraid of going where you want to go and getting what you actually want. Because if you stay stuck, if you don't have any faith, if you stay stuck right here, afraid to ask for help, then you never get here. And then you can be sad and you can live in the fantasy and in the illusion. Because if you don't have faith, you can at least have fantasy, right? But why? Why would this card come out if it's not ready for you? If, if you're not ready for it? Don't be intimidated. It's not a game. You haven't lost. You're just at a spot where you're a little bit more humble. You guys are qui a very quiet sign, considered very humble to begin with. But this kind of humility for you guys, when your foundations, when the core of who you are is challenged, that sense of deep, deep psychic empathy. No, I mean, you're only human. The deepest empathy that you can have. You're, you've still got an ego as much as you would very much like to not have one. <laughs> that doesn't mean that you can't. And it doesn't mean that you won't make a mistake. A mistake in which you'll have to apologize because either you hurt somebody and you are the winner that's about to lose or ask for help because you're the loser that has to walk away. The truth about this card is that there is no winner and there is no loser. And that's the theme of this retrograde. So this retrograde is probably going to pull very strongly at you guys as a result. There is no winning. The only thing to do is to walk away. To walk away and walk towards help. Apologies. Yeah, I'm getting sick. I'm so sorry. Some sleep tonight will maybe fix it. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern. Um, you can have this <laughs> quite quickly right on the other side of this. 
You just gotta ask for help. Let this retrograde teach you, teach you that it's not a battle. Let these energies give you a little bit of a rest and receive some. It's time to receive. Why do you need a rest? Why do you need to receive? Because you're about to have to be really, really smart about how you go after exactly what it is that you want on the deepest level. This could be somebody coming in and being a little bit tricksy with you. Maybe if you're dealing with a fixed sign, fixed signs are very commonly associated with the world. So that would be uh, Taurus, uh, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Do be on the lookout. They might not necessarily be putting you first in this situation, but a lot of this comes through very strongly as what you need to do. You need to be sharp right now. You need to be careful, you need to be cautious, and you need to be calculated. Unless you have Capricorn placements or some other sign that's very um, crafty, naturally, that might be a little bit difficult for you guys. But in order for you to move forward in your life, bottom of the deck right now, Six of Swords, in order for you to move to new horizons where you want to be to regain the faith that you feel like you don't have right now because you're feeling really defeated in order to gain that deep soul connection, that ability to have wealth, prominence, and a legacy, you have to be smart about the actions that you take right now. It's not exactly the time to get really wrapped up in and the emotions and, and feeling really down and out on your luck and focusing on how much you've lost and how you don't know how to ask for help. Mm. Let me pull a card, an extra card just for that. Let's go back a little bit. It's gonna come to you. All you have to do is accept it. <laughs> I mean, Ace of Pentacles. It's gonna be there wanting to, it's gonna, it's gonna be offered to you. You just have to accept it. Okay, yeah. I'm just get I'm getting sick. <laughs> I just don't want you guys to hear what that sounds like, so. But we're powering through. You've waited long enough. God bless the fire signs, because they're next after this. We might sleep on it and do it early in the morning. Um, it's a time to be smart about your decisions if you want something that's going to be really stable and that is what your heart desires on its deepest, most transformative soul level. Particularly if it's with a Gemini, it's not the time to it's not the time to play around. It's not the time to be soft, sweet, gentle Pisces. It's time to you might not need to go quite as far as shark or piranha. You know, maybe just Rihanna. <laughs> Sorry, it was a rhyme, I couldn't resist it. <laughs> um Help is going to come to you. Just don't be so fo so focused on how hurt and betrayed and defeated you feel that you don't see it when what you need actually comes to you. You guys are very great at just having life come to you when you're really clicked in and tuned in like that. It's just the power of being at the end of the zodiac and sort of having a little bit of each sign in you to a degree, yeah? And that's what makes you so crafty when you need to be. So be that. Learn. Learn from all of the signs in front of you whose energies you can all carry together at the same time. And that will help you create exactly the vision that you are looking for. A very deep, very long-term vision. Particularly in work. Particularly if it's a work that you love, that you know is what you were meant to do more than absolutely anything else. Or if it's just love. It's a union. I'm sorry. Ugh. A very, very strong, stable, commanding, lasts for a very long time union. It might be a little bit difficult if you're dealing with an Aries right now. Nothing that a little bit of maneuvering. Artfully, artfully. Not outright manipulations, but being very smart and very thoughtful 
about how you invest in them and communicating that to them effectively. Not telling them useless information, that's the surefire way to kind of like make an area shut down is to just overload them, overwhelm them with information that they don't need. Cut straight to the point. Take what swords that you need, bring it to the conversation, leave out what doesn't need to be there. Let it go. Let it go. Don't hold on to it. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to explain feelings that are no longer necessary to the situation. If the feelings of... If a certain part of the situation has passed and, and the feelings have passed, you don't have to go back over and rehash all of it. It might feel like it, but if you want to have what is should be yours. I mean, that's what the lovers is. Lovers is, is what should be yours. It's just not easy. We get this myth that love should be easy or the love should be extremely like rom-com hard. Um, it's not easy on a soul level. It's easy on a, obviously, it's the only choice we can make. That, but that's what the lovers is about. Like you choose, you choose it because it's not really a choice. But the work required in order to accomplish it is not always necessarily the easiest, near, uh, widest path. There we go. Three of Wands. Huh? Yeah? Light? Shadows? There we go. A little bit of work goes a long way this month. I feel like I'm just breezing through this. And maybe that's because I've had to like start and stop like a lot. Um, but also, just, you know... Be a little tougher. Have faith in yourself and in the things that make up who you are. And some deeply reflective balance in your life. By the end of this month, going into Scorpio season, that faith that you lost is completely returned. The star. That purpose. That sense of being. That sense of self. It's yours. It's here. It's here. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I have to keep stopping the camera, but that should be the last time because honestly, I feel like we're done. Let's do a little bit of a bottom of a deck here for you guys. Uh, we've got the Hierophant. Two of Swords. Knight of Wands. Seven of Wands. So... passionately going for what you want cutting out that indecision and that uh, waffling ability that all mutable signs can kind of carry and that you guys can have particularly when your emotions are in a state of flux and in, instead of a state of flow uh, brings you that deep uh, understanding that you're looking for and maybe not the understanding that you're most familiar with this is a very earthy and fixed sort of understanding it does represent Taurus might have a few squabbles if you're dealing with a Taurus, but overall, I mean, it looks like if you stay strong, your energy is so strong that you will be able to see through everything that you want by the end of this month. Be focused and balanced. Be smart. Be careful in order to see what it, exactly what it is that you want come into this world. Very powerful going into Scorpio season. Very, very powerful. Don't give away your own power by letting this energy at the beginning of the month be what rules you and dominates you throughout the entire month. You can turn it around and you can have the world at your fingertips. That's not even... I mean, that's like on her fingertips, but she's like sitting on it too. Like, she's gravy. <laughs> Uh, I love you guys. I appreciate your patience. I'm sorry I was sick. Some things can't be helped. Didn't really think you guys should wait any longer. So, uh, I'm gonna go be sick now and hopefully feel better before I have to film for the fire signs. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Love you guys. Uh, bye.